What is isolation for you? I think I go back very vividly to the hospital room. Oddly enough, isolation occurred when I was surrounded by people. Isolation is, is knowing that people are willing to go to you, but not be with you. Not working at all that made me feel uncomfortable and very sad. Having to do so much alone and process so much alone, you know, not not having people around me who are equipped to understand what disability really is, it's just something that is always there. I mean, it's just, you know, I don't think it's ever going to go away. The more I've learned about my sensory world and my sensory needs the more i've like been able to understand these moments of like extreme alienation and isolation where there's things happening that are like noisy or intense or emotional or you know just all at once and to me it's intolerable they are talking around you as if you don't exist that's isolation too like they can invite you to the table, but that doesn't mean they're gonna give you a chance to speak about what you think is best for you, or even if you have an opinion at all. To be unreachable and I can't reach back is impossible. I don't mind on certain ways living on the margin. I don't want to be included. Don't assume I want to be like a traditional able-bodied person. I like being alone, but I don't like being isolated. I'm at a crossroad where I'm dealing with that and all of this is resulting from isolation, resulting from not letting people in, resulting from being alone, resulting from staying in. And so now today, I want to live. You know, I want to live. And isolation ain't the way. Yeah. Stuck in the house and not doing anything. Isolation can be chosen or it can be forced. I don't like forced isolation where you can just see where it changes a person. I'm incredibly light sensitive, and so when it's very bright out, although I'm totally capable of navigating and getting around and going places, that sun forces me to wear a hat and two pairs of sunglasses, and it's honestly the the, the time where I feel less safe. Being in a space that is designed mainly for able-bodied people, especially during the winter, like much more difficult for me to go outside and go places and because snow and ice is just, it's a lot of labor <laughs> to get outside to the car and from the car to wherever I'm going. The memory of you is always in the world. You're never really isolated.